but you ask that to your instructor too. And that's a pretty straightforward question. What would the two-stripe white belt version of myself look like? Guys, a great question. Why am I a one-stripe white belt, but I'm smashing everybody? And the answer is because we all lie on our own continuum. Jiu-Jitsu by nature is an incredibly subjective uh, assessment where the instructor looks at you and he thinks of where you're at relative to your teammates, where you're at relative to what you could be, and where you're at relative to your goals. And you'll be held to that standard. And we're all on our own different paths. You may be a one-stripe white belt and you're smashing people, but maybe you wrestled in college and you're going against blue belts who are 45 years old and learning a new skill. And of course you're smashing them because the belt on your waist doesn't give you this bulletproof ability to defend yourself. There are so many factors at play. And I think our job when it comes to why am I not getting promoted is to keep moving forward. You can, sure, articulate, you know what? No, I won't even articulate to your instructor, hey, why am I not getting promoted? Because they're paying attention. I would ask, what can I do to get better? What's next? What do you see that's missing in my game? Those are the kind of questions I would ask. I wouldn't ask for a strike or how come they're getting promoted and I'm not. For me, that's not my path and I don't think that would be well received by many instructors. But what would be well received is, hey, I'm working on this thing. What can I do to be better? What else do I need in my game? What mistakes am I making? I would ask those kind of questions. And remember, we're all in our own continuum. And it doesn't matter if you're a one-stripe whooping blue belts or even purple belts per se. But it matters that you're getting better. It matters that you're learning. And it matters that you're going to be a better two-stripe version of yourself than the one-stripe version of yourself was. That's what matters. Are you moving forward? Not how you're moving forward relative to other people. They're good measuring sticks in the beginning, but honestly, what matters is that you are using jujitsu as a vehicle for your own development on and off the mat, and you're moving forward. And sure, there are checkpoints along the way with the stripes and the belts, and they matter. Like, nothing feels better than getting a new belt, especially one you worked for and earned. And nothing feels better than wearing a black belt because you understand the suffering that went into it and the effort, and that the sacrifice has been worth it. But I think... The belt represents the development of the individual. Each belt is like a death and rebirth, an acknowledgement that you are so much better than you once were and you're ready for the new challenge. And it doesn't matter what that belt is relative to the people around you. That's not going to bring you any satisfaction or any peace. And if you're motivated by that, you're probably not motivated by the best things. That's not going to serve you for long. It will work in a small time window, but you're going to burn yourself out because you're not being driven from a place of love for yourself. It's in contrast to others. And that doesn't take you very far. So our job is to acknowledge the stripe that we are and then ask, if I'm a one-stripe white belt, what does the two-stripe white belt version of myself look like? You ask that to yourself and you implement whatever you should, but you ask that to your instructor too. And that's a pretty straightforward question. What would the two-stripe white belt version of myself look like? What differently do I need to do to achieve that rank and that goal? And then you'll have some pretty clear answers. So that's, that's the point. That's the goal. These stripes are representations of the, of the development along your own continuum. They're not representations of your development relative to other people. So keep that in mind, guys. The stripes are great. The belts matter. But your soul matters a lot more. And let's use these at checkpoints along the way rather than as the driving goal that pushes you forward. Because it's not going to push you forward for long. What's in here, that will take you far. Hey friends, hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe to our page, like or comment, let us know how we're doing. My goal is to serve you guys through this medium and help share jujitsu because the more growth we make on the mat, the better our lives will be off of it and the more we'll be able to contribute to those around us. So keep training hard. Thanks for watching and keep aiming up.